Good morning, folks. We're a few hours away from Episode 7 of Earth Catastrophe Cycle, but this morning, let's run down the top news from the ground out into space. Spaceweathernews.com showing the last day on our star with the bright region still popping, but again, failing to have those pops be strong or ejecting CMEs. The coronal hole patch swinging through center disk on the south, while at the limbs we see plasma filaments dancing, especially around the south polar crown there. Solar wind is calming down, purple plasma speed in the middle panel leaving geomagnetic conditions dropping out to the quietest levels. The coronal holes still have some time before another solar wind intensification comes from them, but of course we connected magnetically to those openings, and after days of Earth to Sun pointing interplanetary magnetic field, phi angle up top, it rode Sun to Earth for just a few hours right in the middle of the day, and at that time the top rumble of the day shook southern Japan. The top weather event of the last day hit Ohio in the morning hours. A couple locals got good footage of the waterspout turned land-based twister. Across the Atlantic, the cold event continues as snow blankets beaches in southern Greece. Athens records a record low temperature. The same has been happening from India to Pakistan, where locals are luckily more amused by the preposterous weather there than anything else. Let's go to the stars. A nascent system might be over before it begins. The blobs in the plasma outflow are like mega CMEs moving super slowly through the system. That's the white arrow in the middle showing the six-year progress of one of the star's ejections. And speaking of plasma, let's go next to quasars, those distant cosmic lighthouses, and find that technology has progressed to be able to spot the plasma bubbles affecting the background radiation around them. That's not a galaxy or accretion disk, the dark part. It is a plasma bubble surrounding the quasar. Up next, sterile neutrinos are considered a second-tier dark matter candidate by the mainstream, and the primary new star search for their indirect effects in the cosmos has turned up nothing once again but also it closes in on the final search window available for those particles. It's do or die time for sterile neutrinos. Lastly, we are going to the global electric circuit, but not here on Earth, on what they call a neutron star. Now true enough, plasma and electric universe fans know a recharacterization may be in order for those types of stars, but today we just want to take in how a heating model of the neutral material includes nothing but the particles descending down through its own magnetosphere. Folks, that's going to work here on Earth, too, and is completely outside the climate models. Like I said, a few hours remaining until Part 7 of our latest series. Come back later today for that. Website members Billy has begun to work with the Martian soil from the Exolith Lab, and boy do we have some fun footage already. That's also coming later today. We've got your wind maps, followed by shots of our star to close. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 4.20 a.m. in the new valley of the sun. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.